Hi guys, happy Friday. I know it's been a while since I've been on live. Your girl has been busy, um, super busy, but I missed you guys and I know I haven't been live in a while. So let me just give you guys a couple of you to just join in for a minute. Um, maybe you can do the replay. Um, I'm sure you're probably busy, it's Friday. You're doing your errands, you're taking care of the kids, you're going grocery shopping. So if you don't jump on live, that's fine. Just do the replay and just make sure you heart it. Put the notes into the section so you can replay it. Um, but I just want to say that I miss you guys so much. But, you know, when God has you on assignment, you have to be um, you have to be obedient. So I'm coming back on just to say that I miss you so much. For those who have been doing the challenge, I'm so proud of you for those who finished it. Um, I saw the testimonies. I saw the reviews on Amazon and Barnes and & Nobles and all of that and the inbox messages. So God bless you for those who finished the 21 Day Soul Challenge. And for those who are currently in the challenge, um, you are in for a treat. I read my book all over again and it blessed me all over again. Um, it just reminded me of why I did what I did. Um, hey, Miss Craig, how you doing? I'm just jumped on just to say hi to everybody. I miss you so much. Um, like I said, if you don't have time to watch the live now, that's fine. You can do the replay. But I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, right now, there's a storm going on in my hometown, in my home city, that's um, Eastern North Carolina. My mom's there, my sister there, my family's there. So um, they have been in my constant prayers. I've been on the phone just making sure that they're safe. Um, so, you know, continue to pray for my family that's in North Carolina that's affected by Hurricane Florence. Um, I remember us going through a hurricane years ago when I used to live there and it was it was horrific. Um, a lot of families affected. So you guys pray for my family that's in Eastern North Carolina. Hey Shawanda, I pray you are safe. Um, I thought about you this morning. So um, just, just tell me that you are okay. Text me, let me know you're okay. Um, because even though it's a category one and it may not seem like a big deal to some people, I think about the cresting of the water, the rising of the water and it, you know, coming on land and affecting businesses and homes and people not being able to go anywhere. So it's in, you're in my prayers. I love you guys so much. Um, but I, it's just it's something that's been on my mind all day today. I woke up with it and I have to be um, super obedient. You guys know me when God gives me something, I got to share it. But I just thought about what during this season um, of hurricanes, you know, we are going into hurricane season and it's going to be the first of many storms to come. But are you ready? And are you ready not just on the natural side of preparing your house, preparing your, you know, make sure your family's safe, make sure you got the food and making sure that you guys seek and shelter. But are you ready on a spiritual level um, when you're going through the storm? Are you do you have enough to sustain to to make sure that you are are safe? Do you have enough to ensure that you are um ready in a sense um i just know that there's a lot of personal storms that people go through and they act like it's taking them out because they're not ready they're not prepared and just know that in this season of your life if you are currently going through a personal storm you know whether it be your finances whether it be your marriage whether it be your children acting up but do you have enough inside of you to sustain that storm is your mind ready is your soul ready is your spirit ready you know um because you are going to be faced you are going to be faced and during that season are you prepared for what's to come and, and during this time of those who are weathering the storm, I need you to catch this. For those who are there who are weathering the storm, you just ensure that your mind and your soul and your spirit is ready to handle what's to come because it's going to be a lot more ahead, a lot more to face because this is the season. This is the hurricane season. This is the season of, dist of, of, of disaster. And are you ready mentally? Are you ready spiritually? Do you have your finances in order? Is your mind sharp? Is your circle strong? Are you ready to weather the storm? Not the natural storm, but of the spiritual storm. Are you able to face the, the, the naysayers? Are you ready to face the issues that happens in your marriage? Are you ready to handle if your child gets in trouble at school? Are you or do you waver or do you, let me catch this. For those who are in the storm, or and I use this metaphor all the time, when you're in quicksand and when you're in quicksand, all you think about is your feet right? Your feet and your legs being stuck in this quicksand and you can't move and all you're doing is focusing on your feet. But there's an olive branch there. 
there's a whole hallelujah there's a there's a branch there waiting ahead if you look to the hills so but because you're so used to looking down in your current situation you can't see what he has for you because you're too busy looking down so i'm saying that to say to stay ready at all times and ensure that while you're staying and preparing yourself that you can sustain anything that comes your way whether it be an issue with your marriage whether it be an issue with your job whether it be an issue with your children stay ye ready at all times so that when it comes it's not going to knock you down because 10 toes down you have been preparing your spirits you have been preparing your mind you have been preparing your soul for whatever comes your way and then that way when somebody hits you with the one two you could do an uppercut against the enemy you could do an uppercut against the enemy and so that you're not so easy to just fall down and cry and waddle and even in this season of idleness for those who are home right now and your lights might be off maybe off pick up a book you know what I mean? Read, you know, feed your mind, feed your mind with wisdom and knowledge and think about that thing that he's been wrestling with you. And I know you've been sitting here getting in your own way because you're full of ideas, but use this idle time to, 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 um, master or sharpen the skill here on this live. Jazlyn, I'm gonna call you right back, but mom is on live real quick. So give me a moment. Um, call me on FaceTime. Excuse me, guys. But let me just tell you this. During this season, for those who are in this hurricane, you know, right now, you're home and you're, and you're, and you're uh, sitting here with all this idle time, sharpen up the skills that God gave you. Master the craft that God gave you. Start writing things down. Start journaling. You know, start researching. I'm a Google fanatic. If I don't know something, I'm going to Google it. Start Googling it. Start looking it up. Start making phone calls. Don't be afraid to ask somebody something because I'm going to tell you something. That pride could get in the way of your blessing. That pride will get in the way of your next season, of your, of your, of your, of the next season he has for you because you're too busy worried about, well, I'm scared to ask them something. If you don't, if you ask not, you get not. That's how I feel about it. And sometimes you don't always have the answers, but during this season, during this season right now, for my ones that are home and you're watching me live on this Instagram, I'm on this Facebook right now, for those who are idle, pick up a book, um, you know, and, 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 and just know this, you're going to always be tested. This ain't going to be the first hurricane and it definitely ain't going to be the last hurricane. But during this time, sharpen up the skill sets. You understand what I'm saying? And even evaluate, have your friends that you thought called your friends, have they called and checked in on you? And if they have not, then they may not be your friends. You understand what I'm saying? So during this season, during this season, God is using your current season to prepare you for your due season. I'm going to need you to catch that, and that is in my book. God is using your current season to prepare you for your due season. So because it's hurricane season right now, this is going to be the first of many. Know that, but can you weather the storm? Can you weather the storm? Can you weather if your husband ain't on you and your husband ain't on the same page right now? Are you just wanting to not talk to him? Are you just ready to shut down the bedroom? Or you just want to just not talk to him or, or, or ignore him? No, you have to weather the storm if you love him. You have to weather the storm if you want to, and you have to fight for it. You have to fight for anything that you know that you believe and love. Just like with your children, your children may not always obey what it is that you're giving them, right? Kids, kids are kids. They have a child mind. So it's our job as adults to steer them the way that they should go. You understand? Same thing that God does for us. He stirs us in the ways that we have to go. But we have to ensure that once he do that, you know, that we obey. Understand? Stop fighting it. Stop, you know, doing it your own way. And stop listening to the, the people who don't want you to get nowhere because they don't, they're not anywhere. You understand that? I see a lot of people sometimes want to move along with what everybody else is moving and you're blocking your blessings. You're blocking your blessings. You're not always, you know, meant to be with these people in this new season. So I just wanted to say I love you guys so much. This is hurricane season. This is going to be the first of many, but can you weather the storm? Can you weather the storm? Not naturally, but spiritually. Are you able to face and, 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 and sustain through this storm? If your finances don't look good today, are you going to sit in the corner? Are you going to cry? Are you going to come up with creative ways or ask God for resources so that he can build that bank account to match the taste? Because, you know, God will do it. I ask God all the time, listen, now you know you made me this way. You know I like high-end stuff. So, God, I'm going to need you to give me the resources or the wisdom so that my taste matches my bank account. You understand what I'm saying? I'm specific with my prayers. And he's going to give me an idea or he's going to give me a resource. And if 
if he gives me an idea and I may not quite understand where it is right now, I'm going to research that thing and I'm going to master it. And in this idle time, sometimes too in this idle time, you'll be amazed of the amazing ideas that you come up with. Or you'll be amazed at, you know, I impress myself a lot of times because I'm an idealist and I dream in color. How many people dream in color? If you dream in color, say I dream in color in the comments. Hey, Artavia, how you doing? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Tiff. Hey, Tiff. Tiff. Hey, Rochelle. Listen, just uh, if you dream of color, put it in there. I dream of color. For my, my idealist, for my people who dream of color, for the people who can't be in a box, we are always thinking, always thinking. So during this season where it seems like it's slow, during this season where it don't feel like things are popping off how you want it to, sharpen it up. Sharpen it up. Sharpen it up. Start researching, start mastering the craft, start taking a course, start asking people for information. Don't be afraid to. I mean, sometimes y'all come in my inbox with a lot of, they, you want the recipe, but if I give you the recipe, are you willing to come in and do the work? So I'm very cognizant about if I give you all the recipe, because sometimes I'm not supposed to give it to you. You got to go out there and you got to work for it. You got to get out there and you got to work for it. Yes, Teresa, you dream in color. For my people, my visionary people who can't be in a box or even my visionary people who work nine to five, that may just be a temporary situation because that nine to five could fund your dream. That nine to five that you at can fund your vision. You understand? So during this season, during this season of idleness, don't allow the devil to get in your head and tell you what you can't do. Just know that. You're, you're preparing. God is preparing you for your due season. I said this in the Omega part. Your current season may seem long. It may seem hard. But remember, it's the season of preparation. God has a specific season that he has set aside to bring to fruition his plan and purpose for your life. If you haven't got the book, please get it. For those who finished it, God bless you. I hope that 21 Days uh, Challenge blessed you. For those who are in the challenge right now, keep pressing. Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. And I'm saying that because sometimes we need that uh, uh, we need that iron sharpens iron type mentality. You understand? We don't always have the, 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 the ideas. We don't always have the answer. So it's good to bounce off ideas with certain people. But be cognizant and pray, though, about that person that you're sharing your ideas with. Be very careful on who you share your ideas with. I made a post today on Instagram and on Facebook about the vision and how you have to be sure that when whoever you share that vision with, I treat my vision just like a newborn baby. When I first have a baby, I'm not trying to let nobody hold my baby. I'm just not doing it. You know, because you can subject you can you subject your baby to germs. You can sub, subject your baby to, 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 to issues or health issues because it's too, too soon. Same thing when God gives you an idea or gives you a vision. Don't be so quick to tell everybody about what it is that God told you. <laughs> you hold it. You catch it just for a minute. Don't be so quick to tell everybody your ideas and your thoughts. Because, see, God gave it to you and not to them. And sometimes you can hinder it before it even starts. I'm going to need you to catch it. Sometimes you can hinder it before it even starts. And I'm telling you that because you have to be very, very careful because the enemy looks into your future. He knew he knows the greatness that God is going to bless you with. Right. He knows the greatness he's going to bless you with. So what happens is he try to block it. And sometimes he uses people. Sometimes he uses situations to block it because he don't want you to be great. He don't want you to be great. So be very, very careful on who you share your vision with. Be very careful. Treat it just like it's a newborn baby and don't be anxious. Don't be so anxious as just step, step out there and then you do it prematurely and then you shortchange yourself when you could have just held on a little bit longer, Re researched it a little bit longer because there could be a ram in the bush for you. There could be an opportunity waiting for you. But because you get so anxious, you be ready to just jump into it. You'd be so anxious, you just wanted to, because you want to look like you're being busy. But I'm going to tell you something. That blessing that's sitting there waiting for you, it's going to be there. If you activate. You understand? If you activate the gifts that he's given you. If you activate the wisdom that he's given you. If you activate the obedience if you, if that he gave you. You understand what I'm saying? So just be very cognizant that when you do have a vision and during this idle time that you just... You, you proceed with care. 
you proceed it's fragile handle with care i know you've seen these packages handle with care it's for a reason and i take that everything that god gives me with care is handled it's, it's, it's very fragile and i'm and, and i just don't you know get in business with everybody Oh, I just don't get in bed with business with everybody. I just don't. Because that one wrong move could taint your whole brand. That one wrong move could taint the whole idea. Because, see, you're so anxious to move. Sit on that thing and let it marinate just for a little while longer. And ask God for the wisdom. Am I ready yet, God? And you'll know when you are. Because things are start to align, right? In, right in, like how it's supposed to. If it's hard or you keep trying to force something, like you're forcing a square into a circle and you keep trying to turn it. Y'all remember the blocks when you were young? I remember these blocks just like yesterday to tell you how I'm still young, so I ain't, ain't quite that old. But y'all remember this, 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 this toy that it's when you're a child and you take the square or you take the rectangle and you fit it into the blocks and to, the, to, the, to what to, to it matches until all the little shapes are gone away? That's how I kind of, I'm a visionary, so I'm going to need you to catch it just for a minute. A lot of times we be trying to force these different shapes into to the shapes that it doesn't supposed to be in. And then we get frustrated, right? You ever see a child trying to fit a square into a, a circle or a triangle into a circle? It, it don't work. It don't fit. So stop force feeding it. Stop forcing it. It's not, made, it's not meant to be. Take a step back and ask God for the wisdom. And for a new idea or for, you know, for, for a new resource or for a new friend or for a new stream of income or for a new, you know, you understand what I mean? Just ask him for that before you just throw it out there. Because you got the one time to make the first impression and you don't want that thing that God has for you to be mediocre. I don't believe in doing anything mediocre. It's first class or no class over here. And I feel like when you got a gift, you, you move accordingly. You move accordingly. You need to activate. That's right, Octavia. Activate. Activate. But during this idle time, for my hurricane people who are sitting home watching me, I see you guys. I'm praying that you guys are safe. But during this time, during this idle time right now as you're praying, ask God for a new set of, of ideas. You understand? Ask Him for a new set of ideas. Ask Him for a new friend, a new resource, a new stream of income. And if you do have an idea and you, quite, you don't quite get it, research it. Use this time to Google it. Research it. Master the craft. Because you weren't made to be mediocre. I love y'all so much. For those who are joining in, I didn't think you guys were going to jump on because I know it's Friday and y'all living your best life out here, living your best life on a Friday, probably spending your check. But I just wanted to come in and just tell you right now it's hurricane season, not just for my town of, uh, of, or eastern North Carolina where my family is, but it's hurricane season across the board. And when I'm saying hurricane season, we got to stay ready. We got to ensure that our house is safe. And I'm talking about our house, I'm talking about our mind, our body, and our soul. We got to make sure that we can sustain the storm at all times. Stay ye ready at all times so that when it comes, it may mess up. It may sh shake the roof a little bit or it may make our windows shake or, or you may hear a howling noise, baby, but you're not going to jump. You're not going to be with fear because see, you're ready. Ten toes down, you are ready for whatever the enemy has for you. So feed your mind, feed your soul with spiritual goodness. Feed your mind and feed your soul with, with, with the food of God, you know, with the food of, of, of God. And that's the word. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you to, I'm not hitting, in your, hitting the head with the Bible or anything like that. For my people who get it, I'm going to need you to catch it. I stay ready at all times. So when the enemy try to come with the one-two, I'm going to hit him with the uppercut because I'm ready. I've been training for this. You are built for it tough. Put that in the comments. You are built for it tough. You are built for it tough. So whatever the enemy have for you, tell him to bring his best game. Because see, you are the, the child of a king. And we don't buckle. We don't buckle. I see you, Shell. Okay, so I got to go. I love you guys. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Just keep pressing. It's, this is the season to, be, you stay, to stay ready. I love you. Make sure you share. You are built for it tough. I love you guys. Make sure you share. Make sure you catch the book. God bless you.